Hi guys, in the last video I showed you how you can actually configure um, your IP address on Ubuntu 12.4 desktop and in this video I'll be showing you how you can actually go ahead and configure and install the LAMP server. So um, if you wanted to read a guide on how you can do this, um, I've gone and written one. Um, you can go over to how to and then scroll down to Linux networking and install and configure a LAMP server on Ubuntu 12.4 desktop. Click that, it will bring you to another page and there's a load of instructions and pictures about how you can do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, if you open up your Ubuntu computer and open in terminal you're going to want to type in sudo apt get install task cell and once you've done that type in your uh, password and that should, should start um, finding it on the server and then it'll ask you if you want to continue type in y to continue and that should go ahead and start installing it oh, and once we've finished that we'll actually run the um, program called task cell which just makes it a lot easier to actually install the LAMP server. And um, so, if you wanted, once that's installed, if you wanted to type in sudo task cell, and that should bring up another window. If you just wanted to make sure that like, the only thing um, ticked is LAMP server. Um, so, if you wanted to scroll down to the one you wanted to install, and then press the space bar to select it, and then click OK. And that should start installing the packages. Um, once it's um, done that, it'll ask you for uh, what you want your password to be for the um, root user for MySQL. Um, and there'll be this, uh, it'll ask you for that a few more times during the um, video. So if you just wanted to make sure that it's fairly secure, um, but obviously you remember it, um, as we'll be using it quite a bit. And I should like click enter, and then I'll ask you to repeat the password just to make sure you've entered it correctly. And once that's done, um, it should take a little bit longer to install, but once that's finished, it should um, then have finished this on the LAMP server. The next thing we'll be doing um, after that is installing PHP MyAdmin, and um, that's just um, it, it provides a web interface to actually talk to MySQL and um, it just makes things a little bit easier. If you don't want to uh, install it then you don't have to, you can finish the video here. But um, if you want to then um, I'll see you back once this is finished installing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so um, if you wanted to type in sudo apt yeah, get install php my admin. Um, that will ask you if you want to continue, click yes, I'll type y in should I say. Right, then this is going to ask you um, which web server you want to actually configure it for. As we've just installed um, our own web server, we're using Apache 2, so if you want to um, select that and press the space bar to select it and click OK. And just click yes for that and then you're going to want to use the same password we chose before just makes it a little bit easier so you're going to have to enter that a total of three times and that's done the next little bit again you don't have to do this if you don't want to this next bit is just so that we can actually access this remotely and um, from a different IP address it's a little bit less secure, but for um, the purposes of this video, I'll be showing you how to do it just in case. So I know I have to do that for my works database. So yeah, what we're going to now type in is sudo gedit, and that will open a text editor. If you wanted to go to open, and then um, navigate to file system, etc and then down to MySQL and my.cnf if you wanted to scroll down 
it should say bind address and then 127.0.0.1 and if you just want to change that to 0.0.0.0 and that should mean that it actually talks to um, or it'll accept responses from any IP address that way so if you wanted to do that and click save and that should work so if you wanted to open up a web browser and type in localhost forward slash php my admin and you can now log in using the details we provided before there we have it um, you can also access this on the IP address that we gave it in the previous video so um, if you can't remember what IP address you've given it or anything else or if it's DHCP then you can type in um, open up uh, the terminal again by right clicking the desktop and going to open in terminal and then typing in ifconfig and the IP address is there so if you wanted to access it by that address we can type in 10.0.0.150 perhaps if I type it in correctly and then forward slash php my admin and we can also access it from there. If you wanted to also set up a port forward, so if anyone comes to your computer or connects to your IP address on a specific port, then it will automatically forward that port to this IP address. Uh, so say for example, you've got your web server running here, that's the default page, um, and you wanted to do it so that if someone connects to your external IP address, it'll automatically go to your website you can actually um, configure that through your router and it's the same thing for MySQL if you need to connect to your MySQL database from an external IP address you can do so but you will need to give your user root, um, permissions to do so through PHP my admin so thank you for watching this is the end of the how to install a LAMP server on Ubuntu 12.4 desktop version if you enjoyed the series, if you want to see more of them, then please comment below and like and subscribe. If there's anything you didn't quite understand or haven't explained it fully or if you've just got any other questions, again, please comment below. Uh, make sure to check out our website. That is usually the first thing to get updated. So if you want to see more guys, they'll usually be on there first. Um, and if you've got any requests, again, leave them on there. Check out our Facebook page. That always is kept up to date. So thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.